This is the Batum 3 Series by General Bytes. This video covers common Batum configuration. To proceed, have the Batum ready to go and your terminal set up in CAS, waiting to be paired. These are the final steps to bring your Batum live. If you haven't prepared the terminal in CAS yet, do so now. That's a different video. Go do that before you watch any further. When you first turn on the Batum, you'll see this screen after a few minutes. You will need a solid internet connection for your Batum. It doesn't need to be fast, but it does need to be reliable. This will require some trial and error because not all connections are the same. CAS is the center of your Batum universe. It does all the heavy lifting. It talks to your wallets, exchanges, and other services used by your network. This is a simplified diagram. CAS listens on port 7741 for Batums to connect to it. It will only connect to Batums that it recognizes and expects. The Batum is essentially a remote control used by your customers, and many Batums can connect to a single server. In the CAS side of configuration, your Batum will be called a terminal. A terminal is a CAS concept. It defines your Batum settings on the server. The Batum makes outbound connections only, and only to the CAS server you specify in these settings. But first, you need an internet connection. To connect using Wi-Fi, press the warning icon and present your admin key. Select Wi-Fi, choose your connection, and enter the password. Simple. Connecting to a LAN is simple too. Unplug the Batum, remove the cable entrance plate, and feed the cable through. Reattach the plate with the notch reversed. Feed it up, through, and to the left. Leave some slack. Add a couple of zippy ties here to provide some strain relief. Be careful how you run the cable. When the top panel is closed, the paper roll may press up against the cable if routed improperly, causing printer errors. Remove the cover plate and plug in the LAN cable. Once power is restored, the jack should light up green to show a connection, and the admin screen will display the IP. Don't use both LAN and Wi-Fi. It'll confuse the Android system that the Batum utilizes. Watch our video about LAN configuration and troubleshooting if you encounter problems. The default server is the General Bytes Cloud. If you run your own server, you must tell the Batum to connect to it instead. First, pull the stacker to access the Secure Administration screen. Choose Change Server. Now, enter either an IP or a host name, depending upon how your server is set up. The Batum must be paired with the server. This ensures secure communications and helps prevent malicious actors from connecting to your accounts. The first time you set up a terminal, CAS will automatically make the terminal ready to pair. If the Batum signature changes for any reason, the Batum will be unable to connect. This is a security precaution. Don't go crazy over it. It's easily resolved. The first thing you should do after connecting to CAS is update your Batum software. This is important. The nature of the crypto industry is constant change. And a few weeks can be a long time in this business. Keep it updated. Loading the printer paper and NFC cards are demonstrated in the previous video. The dispenser cassettes are removed by pressing this green button. Stack your preferred banknotes facing the same direction. Make certain that the guides are properly tightened, then insert the cassette into the dispenser. Enter the secure admin screen, select cash boxes, select configure cash boxes, press dispenser cash boxes, and enter the quantity and denomination. Jog, align, and fan the bills. Each cassette can hold a maximum of 500 notes. Use crisp, newer bills. Don't use limp, damaged, wrinkled, discolored, worn, deformed, distorted, curled, stapled, or perforated notes. That's straight out of the dispenser manual. I swear to you. The recycler is loaded by entering admin, then cash boxes, and load. Feed the notes in one at a time. Now you're ready to unleash your new Batum upon your hungry customers. Go make some money.